Hi, this is Kyla from Kyla Brush Arts, and I'm here with you today in my backyard in Kelowna, BC to talk about positive affirmations and how we can create our own positive affirmation in our life. So before you can start to build your positive affirmation, it's really important to start a process of reflection. So I thought that I would share with you a little bit about how I go about this process and see if it might be helpful for you. So by reflection, um, it's important to think about the aspects of your life um, that are not working as you want them to. So there may be um, parts of your life or things that have happened in your life story that uh, you're upset with or you have anger or frustration toward. And the idea is to think about what they are. So for example, um, you may want to have more self-confidence in your life. You may want to feel a deeper sense of self-love. You may want to have um, a different relationship with your finances. So reflecting on these areas of your life that you would like to have some growth and improvement on is a great way to begin the process of making your affirmation. So when you sit to do some reflection, something that I do that works for me is I take a quiet seat somewhere and I actually imagine uh, myself sitting in a chair and I imagine that state of myself experiencing different kinds of emotions or events or hardships. Um, and I take a little bit of distance from that experience so that I can process what those feelings are that I'm having um, without feeling them so deeply in the moment. So this exercise I do, person in the chair, is really just a visualization where I close my eyes and I see myself sitting in a chair experiencing the emotions that I'm having in my life. This is one way to perhaps not get so overwhelmed as you begin to contemplate how you would like to have a shift in your life. So then taking those ideas of where you would like to have some shift, you can start to create some positive affirmations for yourself. So for example, if you would like to build some more self-love in your life, you might start with a daily affirmation of, I love myself. And you could say this every morning when you wake up, and, um, or you could say it before you go to bed. You could have it written somewhere on your bathroom mirror or your bathroom wall. Um, this is somewhere for you to connect with yourself and to start to cultivate a new experience in your, in your body, in your heart, and your mind. You know, another example like we just talked about was perhaps you want a different relationship with your finances um, and, and you might create an affirmation for yourself uh, that's something like, um, I am a successful provider or I am, um, you know, successful with money. Uh, I am successful with saving, you know, and this affirmation you will start to repeat to yourself over and over again. And, and the idea is that over time you will start to embody this new sense of who you are and this new way that you want to show up in the world. And what I really believe actually in truth is that in doing that and having those affirmations and, and, and saying them daily and starting to have the, these micro shifts inside of you is that you'll start to see new opportunities in your life as well that will give you opportunity for healing or opportunity for more success or opportunity for something new. So I really believe that, you know, by developing your affirmations through this reflective experience of sitting quietly, you can not only start to reimagine who you are and, and, and feel something new in your day-to-day -day living, but you will also start to see new possibility as well in your everyday. So if you like what you heard here today, um, please click on the video uh, on positive affirmations that I did last week. It's in a bit more in-depth exploration of affirmations. And thank you so much for watching and I wish you the best on your affirmation journey.